Time to roost! Hey, everyone. It's just something that, generationally speaking, it just kind of, it, it, it seems to still have legs, you know? And, and I say that as a, a huge fan of the, of the Spider-Man comics, and it's, it's Peter Parker that introduced me to this universe to begin with. So for me, it's a homecoming. The homecoming is Spider-Man Homecoming. I get to keep the suit? Of course. Doesn't fit me. I appreciate that there's a modicum of desperation going on in this, during the Civil War of it all. He's like, man, we need backup and who's available and all that. And he kind of got a lead on a prospect, kind of like a baseball scout. Are there like trials or an interview? You just don't do anything I would do. And then uh, fortunately he just develops this, this belief in uh, Mr. Parker. There's a little gray area in there and that's where you operate. Oh, all right. That's not a hug, I'm just grabbing the door for you. All right, kid, good luck out there. Robert Downey Jr. is appearing as Tony Stark for the seventh time in the Iron Man and Avengers movies. The latest playing a mentor to Spider-Man. What's up, guys? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. Oh, that was awesome. You know what it's like? You gotta... You, you, your kid turns 16, and that means they're supposed to be able to drive. But, you know, now there's all those apps where you can find out where they are. It's kind of like that. He's attempting in his own half-assed way to do some modern parenting. And also, the stakes are a lot higher than are you going to get a ticket or be an offender bender. I mean, you know, lest we forget, he pulled Peter Parker into life-and-death situations shortly after meeting him. Uh, just, uh, just a year or so ago. Listen, I know school sucks. Peter, you still with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you want to save the world, but you're not ready yet. You're the Spider-Man. No, I'm not. I'm not. This is just a costume. This is you're on the ceiling. He's self-aware enough to know that he might not be making the right decisions, but you do what you can, and he's, uh, he's a lot more personable than he used to be. Um, also, if you think about all the, the times he's been up against uh, these insurmountable odds and situations and all that, you know, um, it is a little bit the idea of what we were talking about earlier, too, of, you know, you're looking for folks you can kind of uh, pass the ball to in case you got to take a powder. Stay close to the ground and stay out of trouble. Forget the flying monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. I'm sick of him treating me like a kid all the time. But you are a kid. This is my chance to prove myself. Robert will return an eighth time in the upcoming Avengers Infinity War. But he knows his time in the suit is coming to an end. Don't mess with me. Because I will kill you and everybody you love. But also for me, seeing all this young talent coming in and, and uh, you know, they've been influenced by me and and Michael Keaton and and now we're we're actually speaking of homecoming we're kind of feeling like you know what the, the kids are these kids are, are pretty damn good <laughs> your legal weapons ferry was at 230 you missed it no 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 What if somebody had died? I was just trying to be like you. I wanted you to be better. I'm gonna need the suit back. But I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. This movie is really fun. It's really well conceived. It's highly entertaining. It really it takes full advantage of all of the possibilities that you would hope uh, a new iteration of Spider-Man would have. It really delivers. That guy is still out there. I just gotta do this on my own.